Hey, it is day four. We are gonna be doing an upper body workout. So grab your dumbbells and grab your mat. I have a variety of weights today, ranging from five pounds to 20 pounds. The mat exercise can be done standing against a wall. So definitely feel free to swap those out. We're gonna be doing nine moves, three rounds, warm up and cool down included. Let's go. All right, our first move is gonna be a warm up move. Separate your feet, soften up your knees, tailbone under. We're gonna draw the core in and just draw some nice big circles dynamically, but not with momentum. Swimmers, ready and on. 40 seconds for each move. And then we're gonna do a 20 second break for me to demonstrate what's up next. For you to switch out your weights, feel free to pause. Okay, you can always pause the video, take longer breaks if that's what you need. Can you reverse this? Take it the other way now. Swim backwards. Just getting warmed up here. So body weight, I'm just slowing down my circles a little bit so that I can work on my true range of motion. Get some blood flow to the shoulders. Good, if anything in today's workout bothers, two, one, and rest, I want you to change it and customize it. Here's our next warm-up move. Knees are soft, you're gonna tip forward and face the floor. We'll make the letter Y, thumbs up. The letter T, thumbs up. The letter A, so like you're an arrow and your head is the tip of the arrow. And then just go through back through the same way, T and Y. Here we go, ready, two, and on, Y. T and A. Go back to your T. So my knees are soft a little so that I can have a little slack in those hamstrings. Gonna wake up your back muscles. Sweet. So if, for example, maybe I'm gonna do reverse flies and tipping over, facing the floor is gonna aggravate your low back. Go ahead and grab like a resistance band and just do some pull aparts. Something that's similar, but just change it up so it fits you, okay? Customize. Almost done. Get a couple more letters in there. Squeeze at the top. Thumbs up. And rest. Go ahead, stand up, shake it out. One final warm up move. You're going to take your heels and your toes out like a plie squat with a pull down and reach those arms overhead. Try to shine your inner thighs to me. After this, we're headed to the weights and we're headed to the workout. Let's make this one count. Here we go. Heels in, toes out. Three, two, and on. Down, up. Now this is not a beat driven workout. However, if you like to be on the beat of the music, be my guest if it works and if it's safe. It's an interval workout. We're gonna use a timer here. Yes, there are repeats. Yeah, sorry for my ADHD friends out there who always wanna do something new for every single thing. It is good for you to do exercises more than once. You get a higher volume in can build mastery in that movement. Here comes your break. Three, two, and one. Your first move is a reverse fly, by the way. So we're gonna do a little tempo. We're gonna go up fast, down slow. We are tipping forward. So if that is gonna bother your back, grab a resistance band, and you're gonna pull it apart. I'm doing my fives for this one. <laughs> Whatever weight works for you. Here we go, set it up. Three, two, and tempo. Fast. Slow. Maybe up for one and down for three. Let me try it on the beat. On the beat. So up, three, two, one. If you're a beat driven person, there it is. <laughs> two and one. Up, one, slow down. I know the weights just want to fall. They're going to fight gravity. Fight it. Now your posterior deltoid, the back of your shoulder, is where we're trying to target is one of the weaker deltoids. So that's why I grab my lighter weight. And rest. Okay, now we're gonna move on to your medial, the middle of your shoulder. I'm gonna grab my eights, lateral raises. We're going out to the side. Same tempo, up one, down three. Now if your wrists wanna do something kinda funny like that, fix it, okay? <laughs> fix it. Make your wrists straight. Feet are apart, knees are soft. Two, and on, here we go, up. And down, down, down. Quick, slow, slow. So the middle of the shoulder now, like the deltoid cap, right? Don't be worried about having shapely shoulders. It actually makes your waist look smaller. You can kind of build a broader shoulder. Woo, you're halfway. 
Remember, you can take a break longer than the 20 seconds I programmed you if you need it. Oh, hey, I'm burning. 10 seconds. Slow down. Up. Here comes the break in three, two, and rest. Next movement is an overhead press. You can stagger your stance so one foot can be in front of the other. Thumbs are gonna face the shoulders. You're going up overhead and then down nice and slow. We're gonna head to the anterior deltoid. I'm gonna go a little heavier. I'm gonna grab my tens for this one. Okay, remember that tempo. Set up your kickstand, belly button in and on. Press, slow. If you wanna do the music, it look like this. Here it is. Three, two, one. Press it. Hoop. Excellent. So we're working eccentrically in this workout with these tempos. Fast. And that's a really great way to improve your strength without picking up a heavier weight is that you just play with your tempo. Come on, up fast, down slow. Elbows in front, so it's not a military press, it's just a neutral grip. And we rest. I'm gonna grab my heavy weight for this next one. 20 pounds for me. You could go heavier if you have heavier and if you know you can. We're setting it up into a lunge stance. So you'll step one leg back, tip forward hand on your thigh, shoulder head into your back pocket. Pull to the rib, and then three counts down. The same tempo, up one, down three, or slow, whatever you want, ready? And on. It doesn't have to be three, it could be five. It could be just two, right? As long as it's slower than on the way up. You will get more if you go even slower, right? So do you work with the weight you have and be aware that there are two more rounds, right? So you have to save a little gas in the tank. The back heel is lifted. Get a little isometric in your front leg. Up, slow, slow, power up. Come on, last five. Rest. Whew, whatever weight you did for the left, same for the right. So I'm gonna keep my 20. Set up that lunge stance. Bend your knee significantly. You're gonna feel it in your thigh, it's okay. Tip forward, shoulder into your back pocket so that you're not rounded forward at the start. We pull up fast, down slow, ready? And on, fast, slow, resist, quick. So if you're following along this program with me, it is day four. If you're just doing this one as a one-off, totally fine, it can be done that way. Good, if you just need a little structure though, I thought I'd put together a little two-week program for you. Halfway is your core engaged. Because I just kind of caught myself not as mindful. Can you also belly button in, chest up, and realign things. Last one, and rest. We're headed to bicep curls, so grab the weight that is appropriate for you. We're doing the same tempo, up one, down for three, or just slower, could be five, could be six, right? Well, however many counts you want. Okay, so, <laughs> pull it up fast, and then down nice and slow. Try to shine the chest up, collarbones wide, knees soft, here we go, and on, up, slow. Do it again. Excellent. We're gonna get some good volume in here because we're doing three rounds. That means everything three times. This is round one. Halfway. So as we go through the first round, this is your time to make customizations. Maybe you picked up a weight that was just a little too light this time, and then you'll fix it next time because you have another chance. There it is. Come on. Elbows tucked in. We're gonna work your triceps next. And rest. Okay, I'm grabbing a little bit lighter, an eight pound for me. Left arm, since that's the one that's most fresh. This is the rows. Sinking back into that lunge stance. Tip forward, look at the floor, pull it up into your rib cage and retract the shoulder blade, okay? You're gonna kick the pinky to the back hip and then slow back in, same tempo. Ready and on. Quick and in slow. Oh, my triceps are sore from whatever I did yesterday with my live classes. So I might give me five for the next one. Woo! Good, good, make it slow. 
So being mindful in your workout can help protect you from injury. So don't just throw weights around. Check on your form. If you have a mirror, look in the mirror. See if things are lined right. Ooh, come on. Five. switch it out, okay? Because that's how people get hurt is if they're just throwing weights around and not paying attention to alignment. So listen to your body. You can think about your to-do list when the workout's over. Think about your triceps right now. Set up lunge, tip forward, shoulder blade back. And then this is your starting position. We're going back for one and then in nice and slow. Ready? Let's go. It doesn't have to be beat based. I just want you to come in slower than you went out. Right there. And this tricep sore as well. So I did something right yesterday in my class. <laughs> oh, you are halfway. Come on. Oh. The next move is the one I told you about during the intro. That we could be on the floor or you could be on a mat or on a wall for the push-up. Or even a step or a bench. Oh, come on. And rest. Okay, so your push-up. You could absolutely do this against a wall. Same tempo, though. We're going up fast, down, slow. I'm going to do it from my knees, but you are welcome to do these from your toes. Hands are a little bit wider than your shoulders. Three, two, and let's go. We're going down nice and slow. Press it up fast. Slow down. Up fast. Elbows go back. Think like a neutral. So we're not trying to make like a 90 degree elbow. A little more neutral, a little bit down. Keep going. Can you take your head with you, okay? So it's not just the head going up and down. The whole thing, one movement. You're over the halfway. And then we start this whole thing again. Round two is on deck. If you remember, reverse flies are first. Rest. Ooh, jump up. You can do whatever movements you need to do. Shake things around. We're headed back to the top. Okay, reverse flies fast. Slow down. Grab the weight that's appropriate. Can we change something this round? We go thumbs out. Ready? Let's go. Thumbs out. Up. There you go. Thumbs out. Control it on the way down. Is your spine long? Chin is a little bit tucked, so you're looking at the floor. Good. So once you know the form and you've checked in the mirror, you don't have to keep looking up at the screen. Make that neck neutral. Come on, sit into those hips a little more and face the ground. Woo. Yes, let's go, let's go. Five seconds. Can get one more. Rest. Oh, check it out. We're going lateral raises. Remember this one? Up fast, down slow. Let's change something. Can we go thumbs up? Down slow, okay? You choose what weight would work for that. For me, I've trained these so it's the same weight. Shoulders down your back, thumbs out. Lateral raise to the side. Two and on. Here we go. Quick. Slow. Yeah. So not like super quick. You're not throwing the weights around. But you're just coming up for like one count. Down for two or more. There you go. Now check your posture. The elbow and under, right? You're not sticking the butt out for these ones. You're lifting the chest. Neck in neutral. You got 10 seconds. I hope I wasn't lying. I wasn't looking at the timer. That yeah, was close. Last three, two, and Overheads. We have an overhead press. Grab the weights that you can do for your overhead press. Well, let's change something, okay? Let's add a little bit of an Arnold to this one, okay? So you're going to rotate up and then come back down. Let's go up a little quicker, then we come down. Ready? Two and on. Slow, slow, back to start. Press. Slow, slow, back to start. Add that little Arnold. So we're still training your anterior deltoid in front of your shoulder. We're still doing overhead press. We just have a little rotation. A little slightly different hand grip. 
Good. There it is. Round two, baby. You know what to do. Fast up. Down slow. Fight, fight, gravity. Let's go. Five. Two. Excellent work. Grab your heavier weights for the rows. Let's do left arm first and let's change something. Can you go left palm forward, please? So step into that lunge. Right leg goes back. Tip forward. Look at your look at the shoelaces. Shoulder head back. You're pulling it up fast. Slow down. Palm forward. Ready? We're on. Quick. Slow. 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 Quick. Okay, so if you start to feel tension in your neck, take a break. Take a break, grab a lighter weight, okay? This should be a little lower behind your shoulder, in between your shoulder blades, and in the armpit area, halfway. Hoop, slow. And oftentimes, when I teach this one in a live class, I will see lots of rounded upper backs. Don't let that be you, okay? Pick up that chest. Good. Is that just the common, that's like our default posture, right? We just go to default and rest. So fix default posture right now during the workout. Palm forward, other side, same weight. Step into your lunge position, set it up, okay? Your right, left leg goes back. It's your left hand that holds it, right? You have it Belly button in, <laughs> tip forward. Shoulder back, here we go. Palm forward, two, and row. Up, slow. I have to question myself because flipping the rights and lefts, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that's a, it's a coin toss if I get it right. <sighs> Pun intended, if I get it correct. <laughs> it's my right, either left, I know it. Hup, halfway. Palm is forward, called supination. You use that bicep a little more in that row. <sighs> Come on, lift the chest. Here it is, five. Last one. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> biceps. Now let's isolate your biceps. Grab the weight that you'd like to use. Up fast, down slow. Let's do hammers this time, okay? Thumbs are up. Always feel free to pause the video if you need longer breaks. Here it comes. Two, one, and curl. Thumbs to shoulders and down. Nice and slow. Quick, slow, slow. Hey, how we doing? Almost halfway through this one. Okay, and I'll be honest, I actually probably could have gone a little heavier, but I don't have my 12s in here with me. So I'm gonna just make the 10s work the best I can. And if you do have the heavier weight available and you know you need to go a little heavier, luckily you have one more round that you can correct that. Here's your last one. And rest. Okay, triceps. Let's, I'm going back to my eight. Actually, I'm gonna go five. I'm gonna go five, okay? We're gonna tricep kickbacks. Let's go left arm first. No, right arm first. And let's go palm face forward. Hand to your thigh, shoulder head down your back. You're gonna kick it back with your knuckles. Stop at the rib, ready? Two, and on. In nice and slow. Press back, slow, slow, So You saw I was about to get my eight, but I remembered how sore my triceps are. Oh, I went five. Let me know in the comments what weights you use for this workout. Press up, slow back down, halfway, halfway. Back, squeeze, fight gravity on the way back. Because it's palm forward, I knew I was gonna need a lighter one. So I usually train the neutral grip, so that's where I'm strongest. Four. Two, get one more. Press. Oh, nice job. Excellent work. You have a 20 second break, but really it's just pretty much long enough to switch sides. So now it's gonna be the other hand. Set up your lunge stance. You're tipping forward. Zip the core, palm is forward. Row it up into the rib cage and then push that shoulder head back. We're going back faster than you come in. Two and on. Fast and then slow. Good. Remember your goals. Remember why you push play, why you started this challenge, if you are doing the challenge with me. And if you're not, do the challenge with me. <laughs> do all 14 days, come on baby, commit. 
Over halfway. There it is. Keep that shoulder retracted. Keep it safe. Almost done. Fight for it. Woo. Two. Rest. Push-ups. Okay, so we changed all of our exercises just a little bit. Let's vary this one. We're going to step out, push down, come back in, step out, lower, come back in. Whatever tempo you'd like, feel free to do these on the wall, your knees, or your toes. Let's step the right arm out first. Two, and on. Here we go. Step out, lower, push up, step back in. Other side, left. Lower, come back in. So a little chest fly variation on your push up. Stepping off your mat, lower the heart to the floor. Push up the heel of your hands, but also spread your fingers and push down into your finger pads. You can take some pressure off your wrists. Come on. Do them well. Rest if you need it. But you only have 10 more seconds. I bet you could do something with that 10 seconds. Oh, I gotta get one more to get even in. So that's the problem with alternating things. And rest. <laughs> okay. Last round three. Okay, we have our re reverse flies. Let's go back to the first way we did it. So palms face, open fast, down nice and slow. Thumbs are forward. Here it comes. Two and on. Down slow. So your eyes are on the ground once you know what you're doing. Neck in neutral. Spine's like a bike ramp. There it is, good. You're almost halfway. This is the last round of everything. Master it. First round we learned it, second round we practiced. This is the mastery round. 10 seconds on the clock. Cause you can't see it cause you're looking down, right? <laughs> Four, three, two. Ow, nice, okay, we're headed to lateral raises. I'm gonna try to keep my eights. Out to the side, quick. And down, nice and slow. Keep the shoulders out of your neck. Neck is soft. Put to the top of the shoulder. Right here. Right here. Here it comes. Four, three, two, and we're on. Down slow. Do whatever pace works for you. Could be slower than mine. Go you if it is. Great job. Having a strong upper body. So important for activities of daily life. Think pushing a cart, pulling open a heavy door, dragging your trash cans off the street, whatever heavy things you need to carry. Suitcases at the airport, right? You're training it for it right now. <sighs> Lug and laundry around. <laughs> Two and one. Rest. My vacuum cleaner is especially heavy, so I'm like, I'm training for vacuuming. Overhead presses, palms face. Choose your stance. You can either just have like a normal parallel stance, or you could do B stance. One foot back, toe uh, tucked under. We're pushing up fast. Down nice and slow. Palms face each other, neutral grip. Two, and on, here we go. Up quick, slow. Yes. Up quick, down slow. And putting muscle on your body, so important as we age. It's gonna help you live longer. It's gonna help reduce your inflammation. It's gonna help you look better. Halfway. It's gonna help you be able to regulate your blood glucose better. Muscle just eats up glucose. It's one of the places you store it. That's blood sugar, right? Muscle's gonna help you keep that under control. Four, three, two, we rest. Rowing. We're going to row. One arm rows. Let's go left arm first. Your left arm. We're going to step your left leg back, tipping forward. Palm faces in for this one. You're just going to pull it up to the rib cage nice and quick. And then release it back down nice and slow. Two. And we're on. Pull. Slow. Come on. Come on. Hup. You got this. Last round of everything. Do it well. So you're doing this for tomorrow you, for next week you, 
next month you. I guarantee you nobody reaches later years in life, later decades in life, and regrets all the strength training they did. Never. <laughs> You're going to be glad you did this. Three, two, rest. Woo, switch it out. Other side, same weight. You're going to set it up the same way we did. One leg goes back, same side arm holds the weight. Tip forward, hold your thigh and pull your shoulder back. We're pulling it up quick and then releasing it down slow. Okay, setting it up. Ready? Three, two, and on. Excellent work. Same with flexibility, right? Nobody gets to the end of their life and says, I sure wish I didn't stretch so much. <laughs> Flexibility is another underutilized, underappreciated modality or fitness component that we all probably could use some more of. <sighs> Pull. It's gonna keep you doing those cardio activities that you love. You got 10 seconds left. Keep pulling. Walking that back. Three, two, rest. Biceps. Grab those weights. Okay, because I have a lightweight, I'm gonna go reverse curls this time, which is gonna be palms face down, knuckles up, slow to the floor. If you don't have a light enough weight for that, just do either supinated or neutral. I'm gonna do pronated. Ready, shoulder down the back, here we go. Up quick, down slow. So this is how I'm gonna make the tens work for me. Because it's gonna strengthen a little more my forearm now. This is not one I usually train, so this will be much harder than my normal curls for me right you do you your workout i'm just kind of giving you some ideas some guidelines do it though do what works for you you could, you could alternate your bicep curls you could do body weight for all these moves if you're brand new add those dumbbells in when you're ready though, okay five whew, three two <laughs> rest. Tricep kickbacks. Okay, I'm gonna roll up my wrist a little bit first. Water if you need it. Single arm, left arm first. You're gonna pull that elbow in. Roll that shoulder back. Facing the floor once more. Back fast in slow. Two and on. Here we go. Take it back in slow. If you start to feel it climb into your neck or your trap, take a break. Maybe even just get a lighter weight and really try to feel the back of your arm on these ones. Which is a problem area for a lot of people. And no, doing these is not gonna like spot reduce fat out of the back of your arm. But this will definitely put muscle there, which will make it feel more firm. It might even make it look more firm. But if you wanna lose fat, you know what to do. Overall calorie deficit. And you rest. Whew. Excellent. Roll out those shoulders, other side, okay? So it's left arm, or, sorry, my left arm, your right arm, hip forward, hand on the thigh, shoulder down the back. Pull it up to starting position. We're kicking back quick, and then in kind of slow. Two, and on. Slow. I wish, I wish that you could just do the exercise on the part of your body that you want to change, and it would. Genetics play way too big of a role. <laughs> but there's plastic surgery though, so you could do that. <laughs> Good, squeeze. <laughs> Halfway. So you are gonna strengthen your tricep. You're gonna put muscle in that tricep, but if you want to lose the fat that covers the tricep, that's gonna be a little more dietary and lifestyle. <laughs> Which exercise is part of that big picture? It is. Three, two, and rest. Oh, okay, we're on to the last move. It's your push-up, which you actually can do on the wall if you'd like, but I'm gonna head to the ground. I have a mat, I'm gonna use it. Toes or knees, neutral. So it's not wide, it's not tricep, it's just somewhere right in the middle. Belly in, here we go, two, and on. We're going down for three, two, one, press it up. Slow, slow, press up. Try to use your head, <laughs> it's with your whole body, right? So it's not just a head dip. Press up. Lift the neck in line with the spine. 
Ooh, I feel it. That's what I'm doing on my knees because push-ups are one of my weaker, weaker exercises. Ooh, you got 10 more seconds. Come on, come on. Three, two, press up. Three, two. Ooh, use your exhale. Three, two, and down. Oh, child's pose. Excellent job, team. You did it. You completed the workout. Excellent job. Hold here for a well-deserved stretch, and I will get your cool-down music. Stay and hang out. And from your child's pose, go ahead, walk your hands over to one side. Stretch out your side body, your lats. Open up your armpit to the floor. And switch other side. Walk those hands other way. Just little walk, walk, stretch the other side. Come back through your middle. Come to all fours. Let's thread the needle. Reach one arm up, twist, and then wrap around. Slide the back of your hand to the floor. Look at it. Let your head rest. And you can tiptoe your other arm to the top. Stretching in your neck and the back of the shoulder. Go ahead and place your other hand by your face. Push down. Reach up. Little twist to finish you off there. And let's switch other side. Lift up. Rotate, twist, thread the needle. Slide under your other armpit. Let your ear and shoulder head rest. Walk that hand to the top of the mat. Leave weight in your knees so it's not all in your head. Place the hand by your face to push down and reach up. Oh, great job, you earned that. Okay, walking your hands back underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes, lift up your knees, and we'll just walk the feet towards your hands. Slowly, slowly. Bending your knees, let's roll up. Push through your feet. Take your time. I want you to get dizzy. Your head comes up last. Shoulder circles. Get up there and just take out some nice shoulder circles. And go the other way. Palms up, reach the arms to the side, thumbs go back. And then switch, palms down, thumbs go go back. Do it again, thumbs up and back. Rotate the other way. Two more. Lift up. Rotate down. Last time. Feel that stretch. Let's take a little tricep stretch here. So right arm overhead. And you can just take that left arm and give it a little push. Or you could rotate up and over, square out the head. If you want to try, take the other hand down and see if you can wiggle them towards one another. Your goal is to see if you can touch them. Feel free to use your hands, so. Or use your shirt, sorry. Use your shirt if you need to grab something. Or you can come out of it. Feel free to come back to option one or two. Release. Switch. Other arm overhead. Option one. Option two. Or maybe test your mobility here and see if we can reach it back. See if they can touch. Feel free to use your shirt. You can hang on to a shirt or a towel. Head goes back in line with your spine. Release. Take a big breath in. Thank you guys so much for working out with me today. If you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe and share. And I will see you guys on day five.